Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Add Anchor Point tool, the Delete Anchor Point tool, and the Convert Point tool located in the toolbox. They share the same spot as the pen tool to make modifications to the anchor points in a drawn vector image. You can select the Add Anchor Point tool, for example, and then click on the border of the vector image to which you want to add additional anchor points. You click on the border and you can add those anchor points. Now note that the anchor point can be clicked and dragged as well. When you do that, you may create additional lines that pull outward away from the anchor point. These lines represent the arc or bend in the line at the anchor point. You can use these lines to make interesting curves at the anchor point location. You can also click directly on the anchor point and drag to move the anchor point itself to a new location. If you select the delete anchor point option right here, you can click on the anchor points that you've just placed along the border or drawn vector object to remove them. Like that. You can use the Convert Point tool located right here to change the vector lines of the drawn anchor points. You can click on a vector point and drag out to view and shape its vector lines. Like that. Now note that there are small gray squares that then appear at the ends of the vector lines. Using this tool, you can click and drag on those small squares to bend half of the vector line to assist you in creating curves. You cannot actually move an anchor point with this tool. You'll have to use the Add Anchor Point tool for that. But you can make some interesting curves by just clicking and then dragging like that to create your shapes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.